South Africa blaming Niger coup on Tinubu is unfair, says Akinyemi. Professor Bolaji Akinyemi, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, has blamed South Africa for attributing the coup in Niger to the illegitimacy of President Bola Tinubu's government. Akinyemi, in an interview on Monday, said that the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, which Tinubu chairs, is supposed to be the first to react to the coup in Niger rather than the African Union, was the first to react in a bid despite Tinubu on the face, stressing that the move was instigated by South Africa. The former minister said, African Union AU and ECOWAS seem to be on the same page. Actually, they are not. Under the tradition of the African unit, ECOWAS is supposed to take the lead in confronting the issue in Niger and then the AU will follow up. Instead, the African Union took the lead in responding to the issue in Niger. Why was it so? This was something masterminded by South Africa to spite President Tinubu in the face. It was an anti tinubu action by the African Union. Why do I say that South Africa is behind it? There is a video going around which shows an analysis by a South African television station which blamed Tinubu for the coup in Niger. That is because President Tinubu is illegitimate because his election is contin- contentious that the coup had happened. The AU quickly got quickly to the bridge in order to spite President Tinubu in the face. ECOWAS is now imposing a seven-day limit for a reaction, while the African Union gave them 15 days, creating a situation, if they like, the Niger regime can now exploit by saying it will listen to AU rather than ECOWAS. The problem in ECOWAS is not being posed by the Western countries. It is being posed by the African Union, instigated by South Africa. Now, we have decisions taken by ECOWAS yesterday, while AU has already taken a decision of 15 days to have a reaction, he said. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends as I check out what other people have to say about this. That's the truth and nothing but the truth, my brother. In Nigeria, the truth is bitter. The Onyi Beribes are yet to recover from hallucination of Obi's monumental loss. Tinubu's presidency has come to stay. Anybody not comfortable can hug the transformer. A man who manipulates election cannot be respected anywhere. Yes, they are right. When someone imposed himself on Nigerians and now became ECOWAS chairman, what do you expect? Can't he sleep and rest? He wants small boy's job. Tinubu has no moral right to say anything about a legitimate government. Mr. Envy, with Tinubu in the saddle, South Africa has taken a back seat. Nigeria now leads Africa. No coup can be bigger than stealing another's mandate. Nigeria knows the danger of military to steal, same with election rigging, as well dangerous, democracy is name, the way we go about it is what is important, the foundation must be based on people's mandates. Nothing unfair in the attitude of most African leaders, 
they almost always are wicked, greedy, and rogue, heartless towards their own people. While pleasing the West for support to stay put in power to suppress their own people, let the truth be told, we have had too many. We are tired. Something must be done urgently. Africans cannot suffer colonialism in the hands of foreigners and still come back and suffer coloni colonization in the hands of their own wicked rulers in all the name of democracy. Professor Bokaji Akiyemi saying that Tinubu's regime is legitimate. I thought you were enlightened mind and erudite or odesse. Why now profess deceit? Welcome you all to this season. If you are looking for a good, reliable source for you to win. Mr. Akin Yemi, don't know that when the head is bad and not functioning well, all other party. They didn't blame him. They only said that he doesn't have the moral justification to speak against the coup because he himself stole people's mandates in Nigeria. Tinubu's rigging was open eye neck would have hid things small. The world is telling you th that you people in Nigeria are not sincere. She's been sponsored. It beats my imagination why Bolaji is so in the forefront of fighting for illegitimate governments of Bola Ahmed APC. Professor, you had so much respect. Had. Omoluabi is the problem. The problem I am seeing everyone since is this hatred for a nation of people which I belong to. We want a better Nigeria where your ethnicity will not deprive you any right which we believe is possible, then embrace everyone by establishing all around the country which should be called oneness, rather interpreted by you as dominance, using our establishment against us, police, army, senate, and the judiciary, then supported you and they meant to maintain this stupidity, you have to seize power no matter what. Tinubu's government is illegal and the whole world knows it. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends.